Horizon the Forbidden West is based in California and I can see why they actually chose this location. There's so many places you can go. It's a very diverse state. Um, you got things from beaches to uh, mountainous areas to forest locations. They even have underwater locations as well. Um, the point of this video is to actually um, kind of discover its secrets as to what it's trying to tell you that the uh, Forbidden West is going to be about. There were some audio logs within the original game that, oh, well, you know, um, they mentioned something about the Forbidden West, but I feel like this trailer had more to say than you think. We're going to dive in to little pieces. It's not in order either. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is the life forms in here. Teeming with life. Horizon the Forbidden West is teeming with life. Stuff like pelicans, schools of fish, hermit crabs, manta rays. So many things that are in here, which is kind of indicative of just a broad scope of things. I mean, just look at how rich this is. The corals, such a nice area. I wonder how the crafting system and the looting system is gonna work with so many animals uh, to choose from. What is the armor pieces gonna look like, your outfits? The plot, and it thickens. Next, we have plot. Now, we don't know too much about it, but what we can see clearly is that there's these red, weird looking artificial plants um, that is everywhere and it is harming the life of certain animals. It seems like birds are not really um, affected by it. But as you have here, this fox clearly is super sick, but the fox doesn't really eat plants. So I'd imagine fishes are super affected by this. It is very interesting to see exactly. Also, you can see plant life is also affected. That's a sick ass looking carrot, I guess. I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, you also notice in the background, there is this, these whirlpools every time, or they, these, uh, I don't know, these tornado looking things in the background. Um, everywhere these plants are at. You got the lightning that's coming out, and I can see if it was a volcano, possibly. It is right over here. That's not a volcano. That's the... Uh, uh, that machine, um, the, uh, the, 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 I forgot, the devils, I, I, whatever it is. I wonder, though, if the AI responsible, if you played the first uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the AI responsible for um, um, creating the machines is really getting creative with um, its machines that it's making, such as maybe that's a dragon that's creating that kind of spiral, that whirlpool, that uh typhoon i don't know what you want to call it um it could be could be you know i kind of think about that shit too as the these machines are probably gonna be super crazy in this game and then you got this going on which that's not meteors something's coming down from there you can, you can see silence which is a character from the original um uh, horizon zero dawn is concerned about that let's take a look at that shit again he looks super concerned as if maybe he caused it. You know, you got to think about that. Co-op? Co-op? Could there be co-op? Guerrilla Games stated time and time again that they were thinking about either putting in co-op as, you know, the game was being created or, you know, as a standalone. And I just think about it. Some of these machines that you go up against is way, way bigger than the machines that you fight up against in um, uh, the original game. You get the typhoon in the background. I mean, look at this. How are you supposed to go against that? Which is curious too. You can mount these machines. Um, there was a there was a, uh, a video that you could see them climbing up. I didn't, I didn't put it in there because it was too short. Um, also, you can see situations where you can, you're tying down these machines, which is a part of the um a promo before horizon was named horizon this particular weapon is not a uh, weapon that actually uh, converts it stuns if you look at it it's a stunning machine or uh, weapon and i'm just kind of curious exploration you can clearly see here that they've put they've put a lot of work into exploration if this is to be actual gameplay a it shows that aloy has super advanced her technology 
or her technical prowess, um, where she's found a way to breathe in the water. Um, and the underwater sections are completely, really, really crazy here. I mean, you got this building here, which if I'm not mistaken in California is called the, uh, fairy building. Um, lots of exploration in here. I mean, it was already dense underwater beyond the schools of fish, um, and, and whatnot. I believe she found a way to get in there, which is kind of, I think it's like a little air pocket and she's able to take a look. It's where that scene with the dragon hologram was at. I mean, exploration seems to be like a really, really big part. And that leads me to my next question here. Really, could you imagine traversing this desert here? Just think about it. How the hell would you be able to traverse across this desert without any type of mount? Personally, I think a fly mount would be perfect in this situation. A lot of people don't know fly mounts are going to be in there. I guarantee you I'll put everything on it. You got this climbing section, which Gorilla Games kind of know that they need to actually up the ante when it comes to their climbing. Um, and notice in the background, there's some snowy areas and stuff like that, which is not native to California at all. Um, so um, if you ever played the DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn of Frozen Wilds, you know that the terraforming process that's in the game, that's part of the storyline is um uh it dramatically changes the environment completely but you know what i will be ready <laughs> 